Hey guys, so we have an unboxing here of the $300 Poco phone. Now honestly, I'm a bit skeptical because it is a flagship for only 300 bucks. But let's go and check it out. Okay, so getting right to the unboxing. As you see, we have Poco phone by Xiaomi. Poco phone F1. And on the back, we have some awesome uh, specs at the bottom. So we'll cover those in a few. Now honestly guys, I have no idea how to be able to uh, ship this for 300 bucks. I've watched a lot of videos, read a lot of commentary on it, but yeah, the price point is extremely impressive. Okay, so first thoughts, the box is a bit cheap feeling. Now, of course, it's not a big deal, but uh, I do at least want to point it out. Okay, so we got... Ooh, nice. We got a free case of it. Now, this is noteworthy because the uh, $1,100 iPhone is bought does not chip with this. So pretty cool. And we got some manuals. Okay, so we got the Poco phone. Gonna take a more in depth look in a few. We also got the uh, power adapter. A USB Type-C cable. And then also the, uh, just the uh, SIM card ejector tool. Okay, so pretty minimal in terms of the unboxing, but uh, given the price point, I think it's pretty fair. Okay, so for the design, guys, I will say it's definitely not uh, not in the same category as phones like the Galaxy Note 9, of course. Uh, it is a bit of a plasticky feel to it. Let's go on and power it on. Now, this phone is a Snapdragon 845 and 6 of RAM. So, in terms of the internals, it's definitely a flagship. Okay, everyone, so I'll put in my info me back in a few. All right, everyone. So, I've been using the phone for about an hour so far. Just going over the specs real quick. So, we have a 6.2-inch screen display. And it is LCD at 1080p. Now, on the phone, you have a 20p front-facing camera. And on the back, you have two cameras right there. One of them is 12 MP, the other one is 5. And you also have the fingerprint scanner. The back is made out of plastic. Now in terms of storage, you have either 64, 120, or 256. And you do have micro SD card support. The phone has a massive 4000 capacity battery. You have the Snapdragon 45, either 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. The phone is not waterproof and you do got uh, USB Type-C. And headphone jack as well. Headphone jack is right there at the top. Oh, and taking a look at the free case. So, this does not protect the front because there's no raised whips around the edge. You do have some protection on the back for it though. So yeah guys, I mean, don't go expecting too much for it, but... Uh, it's better than nothing. Okay, so first thoughts. In terms of this being $300, I'm extremely, extremely, extremely impressed with it. But that said, guys, this channel only focuses on flagship high-end phones. 
And to be honest, I'm not convinced that this is a flagship phone. Now, again guys, it's 300 bucks. It did cut some corners, but I do need to point them out. So for example, the build quality is definitely not flagship material. Uh, it's also not waterproof. The cameras are not supposed to be that great. But aside from that, the specs are pretty incredible. Again, 4,000 capacity battery, Snapdragon 45, 6 gigabytes of RAM, a lot of storage. Uh, yeah, guys, I mean, really, really impressive. So, yeah, I'll be getting straight to the testing. and be comparing this versus the iPhone XS Max. I'll uh, probably have the video up as soon as tomorrow. So, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about it.